Langchain has been one of the most popular Python libraries to build LLM apps. But recently it's been in a big soup with a lot of people saying that Langchain is over bloated. And in this video, we are going to explore what is the problem with Langchain and what is the situation in which you should ideally use Langchain and maybe you should not use Langchain. Langchain, like to be honest, like Langchain is an amazing library if you want to get started with LLM applications, if you want to build AI applications. But then there are certain places where the Langchain fanboys overuse Langchain when they shouldn't have already used Langchain. So we start with the, what is the problem with Langchain? So the problem was highlighted by this Reddit user. Langchain is pointless is the post of the Reddit and starts with the being a wrapper. So embeddings in Langchain is a do nothing wrapper for sentence transformers and it's sentence transformers is an open source library. And if you want to use embedding, that is a problem. The problem is also with the Langchain's readme, which is like a grandiose and vague. And one of the biggest problems that they have highlighted in this particular user is that Langchain is highly modularized and it imports a lot of things when you import. The data type is not standard. And with that, if we move on to the next issue that, that has been pointed out by Minimaxer, who is one of the most popular data science voices, I would say, but Minimaxer wanted to write a blog post called the problem with Langchain, but did not do it because Minimaxer didn't want to be that guy who criticizes a open source project in good faith. But leaving that aside, leaving the criticism aside, and if you want to look at Langchain with just a neutral point of view, you can see the points that Minimaxer has raised is Langchain encourages tool lock-in for little developer benefit. As noted by the original post of the Reddit post, there is no inherent advantage in using them and some have suboptimal implementations. The current implementations of React workflow and the prompt engineering are based on Instruct GPT, which is like text DaVinci OO3 and are extremely out of date when you compare it with chat GPT, which is GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT-4, the latest API from OpenAI. Debugging a Langchain error is near impossible even with verbose is equal to true. Even when you enable verbose, it still is very very difficult. If you need anything out of the outside the workflows in the documentation, it is extremely difficult to hack with even custom agents. So Langchain works fine with the ecosystem that it is wrapping, but when you want to do anything outside of that, it is extremely difficult. And that could be also a problem. The extreme popularity of the Langchain is warping the entire AI ecosystem around the workflows. The recent releases by Hugging Face and OpenAI recontextualize themselves around Langchain. It's just magical AI to the point of hurting development and crude clarity. When you have a lot of abstractions of this, it's very hard to understand what is happening. And if you have to understand what is happening, you have to really dive into the code base to understand what is happening. That is something that not a lot of developer would want to do. And that's exactly the point here. Like if you are a developer who can get into the code base of Langchain and understand it, probably you shouldn't use Langchain. But if you are not somebody who can get into the code, maybe that's where you can use Langchain because you don't get into the code part in itself. Arvind Srinivas, who is the co-founder or founder of Perplexity, which is just like ChatGPT with the internet, so also mentioned that they don't use Langchain. So Perplexity does not use Langchain. That's one thing. And um, we have never and will likely never use Langchain. And then the reason that they have highlighted about why they don't want to use Langchain or why they are not going to use Langchain starts from the suboptimality um, of the framework in itself. Models changing quite rapidly. And because models change quite rapidly, everything needs to be adapted or changed quickly. Uh, debugging is quite important. So when you have a uh, production level software, sometimes things go wrong or most of the time things go wrong. And when things go wrong, you need to be able to debug them in a fast and agile manner. The problem is also with customization and uh, ultimately using Langchain has not given them any clear performance or abstraction benefits. Um, when you do not use Langchain also. And um, that's that's one of the reasons why they are not using Langchain. But again, going back to our same point, if you are that developer who can actually understand things deep dive, then probably you do not need Langchain. And then multiple voices have voiced out the same thing. For example, Jim Fan said that hackability is the number one important feature to cutting edge AI research and products. Libraries that augment LLMs with vector DB, search, interpreter, 
or more useful than wrappers around them. So Langchain is fantastic for education uh, and will establish workflows, but that work out of the box, but you are better off building your own pipeline if you do not want to use Langchain because especially if you're going to build production level pipelines, maybe Langchain is not necessarily or maybe Langchain should not be something that you should rely on because it again does a lot of things on top of a lot of libraries that it cannot ultimately control. And that's one of the problems that you would face. Like for me, especially when I make YouTube videos, I make on top of a lot of open source libraries. And sometimes those libraries make changes. And then my viewers comment, comment that this function has been changed. Can you update the course, which is not necessarily possible for me to do it. So the same problem exists on Langchain as well, because Langchain is built on top of a lot of these libraries whenever any small change and of course this is a very fast moving industry and a lot of changes happen most reminds of tensorflow which is like again like a bulk of a lot of these wrappers and libraries altogether and that's one of the reasons community never accepted tensorflow as one-stop solution and then they always fell back with pytorch which provided them flexibility and a lot of these deep dive access like you can dive into the code and build anything that you want Ultimately, this is not an issue because the founder of Langchain, Harrison Chase, is quite open about the feedback that they are getting and also acknowledge the fact that a lot of things to have to be rewritten. And uh, that's a good thing for the community, especially when you are sharing comments with good faith. So let's see if Langchain will get transformed or not because they have raised a huge amount of funding recently and uh, they are also one of the poster boys of the modern LLM world. But whether Langchain gets some change whether langchain doesn't get some change if you ask me question personally if you should use langchain or not the answer is quite simple if you are new to the llm world if you are new to the ai world i don't think there is any harm in using langchain like if you want to build a quick and crappy product or project i think langchain is still one of the easiest way that you can get started with in fact like much easier would be to use llama index but if you are trying to build or move the same code to a production level code, maybe that is the time that you should start reconsidering your entire pipeline and what kind of technical debt that you want to leave behind. And maybe at that time, Langchain is probably not a good solution for you to go with because now you have to fix a lot of things in Langchain, your pipeline to work efficiently and also for your pipeline to have the ability to change things when things change under the hood. Overall, I love Langchain. I've been a strong advocate of Langchain, but this problem exists and that's why I wanted to make this video. If you have faced a similar problem, your opinion about Langchain, please let me know in the comment section. I would like to hear from you.